In the last video we did a simple circuit to make strobe navigation lights for an RC airplane using a triple five timer. This time we're going a step ahead to make something more complicated but a whole lot more functional. Using any programmable microchip, like the ones used on the Arduino board, we can read the output of our receiver and that way control the lights remotely. We'll need the basic knowledge of programming with Arduino, but don't worry, it's nothing too complicated. Or maybe it is. But trust me, you can do it. So the objectives are to make this sick drone with LEDs that we're going to control from our ready control with several lighting patterns and also adapting LEDs to this Cessna RC toy airplane and being able to control the lights from our radio. So let's get started. When it comes to programming with Arduino, we have many options to do so. There are plenty of different development boards and also different brands that can be programmed with the Arduino IDE. But we're looking for a board that is small and light enough to fit in a drone or a small airplane. It reduces our options. Unless you are going to use it on a huge aircraft with plenty of space and power, so you have to consider using the smallest and lightest development boards. Besides, we're just doing some simple tasks and we don't need that much processing power, so there's no need to use an Arduino Mega or something like that to blink some LEDs. So here are the options. Any Arduino Nano or Pro Mini will work perfectly for this. Just make sure to use the 5 volt version and not the 3.3 volt one. If you want an even more compact board, then we could use a DigiSpark that uses an Atiny85 microchip. I also designed my own board using the Tiny 85 but to keep this video more understandable, I'll use the Arduino for the drone and the DigiSpark for the Cessna airplane. You can buy any of these boards online for about 3 bucks. The links are in the description below. Programming blinking LEDs is the easiest thing you could do with Arduino. The code is simply telling the microcontroller to turn on an LED, wait for some milliseconds, then turn off, and so on. Nothing too complicated. To be able to control this, we have to add some lines of code to read the PWM signals of our receiver or flight controller. The code is in the description of the video, so you can have fun without having to program it all yourself. But in case you need to change something, then you need some basic knowledge on programming with Arduino. Now, for the quadcopter, I'm going to control a big LED capable of 3 watts. None of the development boards that I have is capable of supplying a digital signal with 12 volts and 1 amp of power to the main LED. So I'll use a MOSFET transistor to power it from the battery using a voltage regulator or a resistor. I'm not going to get into details of what a MOSFET is, but I can tell you that you can control the flow of power going into the LED from the battery using only 5 volts from our microchip. By the way, for a high power LED like this one, you'll need to attach a heatsink to maintain the LED cooled. So first, I test the circuit in the breadboard to see if everything works fine. And it does. Then, I start doing the crazy job of making the same connections in a smaller sized board like this. I will solder everything in place so everything is permanent. In the beginning I had problems with the power output of the main LED, and it turned out that I was using the 3.3V version of the Arduino Pro Mini, and the 3.3V is not enough to saturate the MOSFET transistor at its maximum. What I don't understand is why it was working before on the breadboard. I searched on the internet to solve this problem with a logic level converter, but the signal was inverted. So every time the LED was supposed to be off, it was actually on and vice versa. It was all a mess, so I decided to use an Arduino Nano that works with a logic level of 5 volts. And the problem was solved. Now it's a matter of putting all this mess together to make it work without problems. 
By the way, I'm using my custom design frame for this. I designed this frame big enough to be able to make these experiments and mount anything I like. Probably in the future I'll make a long range with this frame too. I'm done with this. Let's make some tests and go out and fly it for real. This thing looks really cool at night. Only if I had an even more powerful LED, but this ship one is okay for now. So with the radio we can select few different modes by flipping two switches. The Arduino is reading two channels from the receiver to achieve that. But in the future I'll change the code to be able to select modes using a single switch. So we'll just need one channel, just like if it was an up and down stick. If you are an expert in programming, you could help change this code to share it with the community. <clears throat> okay, that's enough. Now let's put the LEDs on the little Cessna toy. This time we don't have that much space and weight tolerance, so that's why we're using the DigiSpark. You could even use a bear at Tiny85 itself, but I don't recommend it because it is not very comfortable to make wiring and connections and also programming it. To program the DigiSpark you'll need to download the driver, install the boards on the Arduino IDE, and to use the code for this project you'll also need the Labs Millis library. All the links are in the description below. The code for this project is a bit different to work with the Cessna receiver from WL Toys. I wanted to use this system in the Sky King RC airplane, the one I used in the previous video. But the receiver module is different and it doesn't have a spare channel like the Cessna module has. I made all the wiring and also I had to do some modifications with some threads to control the surfaces since I used this airplane in another project and now it doesn't have the original push rods. You don't have to deal with this if you didn't modify it, but I do. Now this should be ready. There is a small problem and is that I have to put the radio into the high rate mode to meet the threshold of the modes. We can change this later in the code. We can simply switch modes by moving the spare channel stick to the right. Let's go out and fly it. The airplane is not very well tuned and the windy conditions makes the airplane fly like crazy, but still flights good enough to prove the lighting concept. As you can see it is very visible from far away thanks to the 1 watt LEDs I'm using. I can also change the light mode in mid-flight. If 
these projects were a success. I didn't mention that you could also use RGB LEDs like the WS2812B and control them individually to make some cool effects. I made a PCB designed to have these LEDs so I can mount them on a drone or control them with any Arduino compatible board using a library. And as I said before, I designed this other PCB to host the Atiny85 microcontroller so we have a really small microcontroller capable of doing many things an Arduino can do, like controlling these LED strips. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next project.